Hello, welcome, namaste. My name is Babette, good to be here, and thanks for being here. Um, I had a lot of fun with this sequence, um, as well as my student friends here in New York. I hope you have as well, and thank you for your support, liking, subscribing, it really helps me uh, as I uh, move deeper into this channel and my offerings. Uh, also, I really, really enjoyed hearing about your journey, your experience with my classes, and it's uh, such a treat uh, to be involved in um, your experience and your journey through my classes. Uh, please feel free to continue to share um, questions, uh, comments, feedback, it's all very much welcomed. Uh, for today, maybe have a set of blocks nearby that can come in handy, a little bit of water, hand towel, primarily you're gonna need your practice space, mat, and a lot of breath. Let's come to sit in Sukhasana at the back of your mat, easy seat, cross-legged. I personally like to take my ankles in front of one another. You can always sit on a, a light blanket or towel for a little bit of support, a little bit of a lift. You can allow your eyes to close or find a soft, gentle gaze. Hands can rest in the lap or perhaps palms facing down or up on the thighs. We'll take about three, four, maybe five breaths just to take a moment to acknowledge your breath. We can go days without fully becoming aware of our breath that literally moves in and out every moment of our day and night. Uh, so just taking a few moments just to feel a bit of air touch the nostrils, moving it down the back of the throat into the lungs. It doesn't take that long for your body to start to kind of expand and move into the breath. You might feel your exhales lengthen a bit, deepen a bit. And by becoming aware of our breath, we start to move a little bit more into a calmer, centered, maybe even rest and digest state of being. And this is something we really like to carry through our entire practice. And that will be primarily guided by staying with your breath. Uh, ujjayi, unfortunately, of course, I talk throughout this and I can't really demo ujjayi, but it kind of sounds like this little constriction in the back of your throat. Streamlines your breath, keeps you wildly connected to the body. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Through pursed lips, breathe it out. Sealing your lips, breathing in and out through the nose. And then please fire up that ujjayi breath. Inhale, take your hands to your knees. Eyes closed or still a soft gaze. Go for a cow spine. Arc your back, draw the shoulders back opening across the chest. Exhale, cat spine, a dome, draw the navel in towards the front of the spine. Inhale, go for your cow spine, hard forward through. Exhale, go for cat, you can even push the knees away from you. Inhale, cow spine. Exhale, cat spine, big pull in the back body. Inhale, a neutral spine, please. Exhale, take your left hand behind you, maybe tented fingers, right hand on the left knee for a twist. This is plenty. If you want more, just press down through your left fingertips and draw your left knee down to the ground. And maybe even draw your right shoulder down to get that nice stretch in your scalenes, right side of the neck. Go for a deep inhale. Maybe side out. Keep your right hand where it is. As you inhale, circle left arm over the right to your right knee. You can just keep the arms crossed, let the head drop, or go for a big dome in the spine, cat spine, holding onto your knees, draw the back body to the wall behind you. Keep your arms crossed, but inhale, bring yourself upright, the hands float off the knees. You can go for a hug, half, or full eagle wrap, lifting the elbows as high as your shoulders, and then draw your shoulders down towards your hips. So you might feel that all the way in your traps, the very uh, upper part of the shoulders, upper back. Deep inhale through the nose. Side out. 
Inhale, unwrap the arms, take your right hand behind your seat, left hand on the right knee, and find your twist. You can make it a bit more dynamic by pressing down through your right fingertips, and maybe even draw that right knee towards the ground. Go for a deep inhale. Exhale, maybe sigh. Please keep your left hand where it is. As you inhale, circle right arm over the left, finding your left knee. A big cat spine dome. You can pull the spine to the wall behind you. Keep your arms crossed. Inhale, lift them off the knees. Go for a hug. Sorry about that, Mike. A half or full eagle wrap. Just be gentle here, we're still getting started. You can lift the elbows as high as your shoulders and then draw your shoulders down to the hips. Deep inhale through the nose. Side out. Carefully unwrap the arms, take them over your shins. As you come over the shins, draw the feet underneath you, big toes to touch. Walk your hands forward, child's pose, resting your forehead on the mat. Allow your belly to soften between the thighs. As you release your elbows to the mat, bend the elbows, take your hands together in a little bit prayer-like shape, moving that prayer into the nape of your neck and walk your elbows forward to give yourself this nice, beautiful stretch in the, the triceps, across the chest, shoulders, and then allow for your sternum, your breastbone to melt down to the ground with each exhale that you take. Next, inhale, take that prayer back over the crown of your head. Keep your knees wide, big toes to touch as you come up onto all fours, hands and knees. Go for a very big cat spine, big dome. Inhale, rock your weight forward, going for cow's spine. Let the feet float off the ground for frog in your upward facing dog. Exhale, draw that back to your child's pose. Knees nice and wide, big toes to touch. Twice more, inhale coming up through cat spine dome. Start to arc the back, draw the shoulders up and move the hips forward and maybe go for that nice frog. Exhale, draw that back to your child's pose. One more time, inhale coming up through cat big dome. Moving into cow spine, hips draw forward and through. Let the feet float. And then exhale, draw that back to your child's pose. Inhale, all fours for realsies this time, drawing your knees underneath your hips. Now just take a moment, stand the fingers out nice and wide. As you tuck your toes, draw it back to a downward facing dog. Now you're more than welcome just to measure out the length of your down dog by taking a plank and then drawing it back into your downward facing dog. A little bit of movement to do what feels good. I always like to go for a gentle head bobble to make sure I'm not holding my head up, as we already do that all day long. And perhaps a little bit of a pedal out to the feet. A kitty to spread the fingers out wide will give you that beautiful, lovely stretch in the hands, through the palms, fingertips. And then keeping your knees relaxed, allowing the hips to slide up towards the ceiling a little higher with each exhale that you take as you start to move into this phenomenal shoulder opener back body stretch and maybe go for a deep inhale through the nose side out and next inhale let's lift the heels hips continue to look back dome your spine forward into a plank pose on the exhale, draw the hips back, softening the knees, leading with the butt bones to downward facing dog. Next inhale, take your time, come forward to your plank pose. Exhale, lower your knees down, toes stay tucked. Go for cow spine, arc your back. Move the shoulders over the wrist, bend the elbows back. Go for Ashtangasana, knees, chest and chin. On top the toes, inhale, slide forward on your belly, low cobra pose. Keep your gaze down, neck is nice and long. As you draw your legs together, turn the kneecaps down. This will internally rotate your legs, relax your glutes a bit so you can connect to the long muscles of your back. And then reach your hands behind you and reach so hard through the fingers and the toes that the hands, feet float off the ground, locust pose, shalambasana. You're more than welcome to interlace your hands behind you, 
but try not to let them rest on your glutes or lower back. Pull them back and then see you can really connect to those long, strong muscles of your back. Go for one more breath. Carefully on the inhale, hands come down. Draw that back to your downward facing dog. So we have a little bit of heat in the upper body now. And the core, the back. So let's uh, distribute that completely over your entire body, your legs, your glutes, because we're going to need it. As you inhale, come forward to plank pose. Your shoulders come over your wrist, high on your tippy toes. Pull your heart forward. Bend the elbows back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, driving through your palms. Take a moment, fantastic back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep inhale through the nose. Side out. Go for a breath. And then on the next exhale, a brief child's pose or sit up on your shins in Vadrasana. All right, a breath or two, just to smooth out the breath. And maybe let that heat from the upper body just kind of disperse a little bit uh, to uh, the rest of your body. For the next inhale, to sit on your shins if you're in child's pose, please. Then come up to stand on your shins. Take your knees a little wider than inner hips width apart. Uh, please don't overthink this. I like to invite a bit of fluid movement, intuitive movement. It doesn't really matter how far you go, but please do breathe. On the inhale, circle your right hand to the right heel or lower back. Left arm sweeps over the crown of the head to the right. Go for a half circle. Inhale, circle the left arm back to the right. Pull yourself up to stand. And next inhale, left hand, left heel. Circle your right arm over your head. And then inhale, circle that right arm back to the left, pull yourself up to stand. Reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, go for opposite elbows, knit the ribs in, core engaged. How lightly on the next exhale, can you step your right foot forward into a lunge? Go for a bit of a pause, just to kind of make sure that we're breathing, core is engaged, navel in and up. As you gently pause through your connective tissue here as well. On the in inhale, with engaged core, reach your arms up overhead for Anjani Asana. Keep that core engaged, please. Exhale, arms sweep forward, down and back. Draw your hips back, lengthen through your right leg. Now reach through your fingers, pull your heart forward and flex your right foot like crazy. Inhale, arms sweep down, forward up. Go with your breath, Anjani Asana. Exhale, arms sweep forward, down and back, draw the hips back, pull the heart forward, interlace your hands behind you, inhale, draw that fist back, open up across the chest, exhale, release, inhale, arms sweep forward and up, overhead, go for Anjani Asana, exhale, arms sweep forward, down and back, one more time, this time maybe go for opposite elbows behind the back, pull the heart forward and through, draw that right hip back. Please mindfully release the elbows. Inhale, arms sweep forward, up and overhead. On the exhale, T-twist to your right. Push through the palms. Keep your heart over your hips. And if you can, relax your right toes. Tuck your left toes. And all you gotta do is drive through the left heel. Your knee will float. Very strong, stable lunge. Without overthinking, on the inhale, go for warrior two over your left leg, back of the mat, changing your foot pattern, finding your feet as you gaze over your front left hand, that is. Inhale, flip your left palm, go for reverse warrior here. Try to stay committed to that lunge, straighten through the top arm. Exhale, triangle pose, trikonasana. Draw the left leg to lengthen, hips draw back, and then kind of going up and over. Please find the stacking first, and then you can always lower a little bit further down. It's very hard to do the opposite way around. Now find the tripod of your left foot. Drive into the big toe mount, the pinky toe mount, and the heel. We want to use your core for this, so you're light in that left hip. On the inhale, bend the left knee, side angle. That can be forearm to thigh here in your Parjvakonasana, 
or you can take your left hand down on the inside, maybe even outside of the left foot. Right arm, you can reach it up overhead or take it across bicep by the ear for your extended variation. Go for one more breath. On the inhale, take your right hand down to the ground, left toes turn to the right, wide forward fold to the right. And next inhale, go for half lift. Exhale, fold over. Next inhale, one more half lift, please. Hands underneath your shoulders. Exhale, lightly hop your feet together underneath you, finding forward fold, Uttanasana, middle of your mat. Inhale, go for a halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold over. Twice more, inhale, take that half lift. Exhale, folding over. One more time, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, lead with the crown of the head. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, come all the way up to stand for Urdhva Hastasana, up hands pose. Exhale, hands to the heart. Now try to draw your big toes to touch, heels a little bit apart. As you bend your knees, reach your arms up for chair pose, Utkatasana. Squeeze the inner knees together. Try not to stick your booty out too much. Draw the tailbone a little bit forward and up. Exhale, hands to the heart, please. Come high onto your tippy toes. Lean back a bit, superhero on the heart, and then slowly lower down onto your heels for your toe tuck stand. Stay on the tippy toes, keep your legs glued together. As you are, turn to your right, take your left forearm to the outer right thigh and reach your right hand behind you. Fiercely reach through all ten fingers. Inhale, circle your right arm, left arm up overhead, face forward. Exhale, twist it open to the right, scissor it, keep your legs together. Inhale, arms sweep forward, up and overhead. Exhale, go for your twist. Inhale, arms sweep forward, up overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take your hands over to your right, tented fingers underneath your shoulders. Keep your legs glued together, maybe line up triceps, outer right thigh. Then lengthen your spine and pull the heart forward and through. A deep twist. Inhale, pivot on the balls of your feet to the right, finding your forward fold middle of the mat. Go for a half lift, next inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, half lift please. Exhale, step your right foot forward to the front of the mat, left foot steps back, low a runner's lunge. Lower your left knee down, please keep it down. Plant your palms down. Inhale, shoot that right leg back underneath you. Bend the knee and flex the foot. Exhale, draw the right knee to your nose. Inhale, bring that right leg back. Bend the knee, flex the foot. Cow spine, arc your back. Exhale, shoulders forward, elbows back. Tap the chest and chin down. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, right knee to nose. Those left toes are tucked right. Inhale, go for a one-legged plank, lengthen through your spine. Maybe take that to a one-legged chaturanga. Upward facing dog on the inhale. Exhale, down dog. Deep inhale through the nose. Maybe side out. Please draw your big toes touch. Inhale, float your right leg off the ground. Keep the leg up, spread through the toes. Exhale, please come forward, one-legged plank. Lower your left knee carefully down to the ground. Bend your right knee, flex the foot. Exhale, right knee to nose. Inhale, bring that right leg back, bend the knee, flex the foot, cow spine, arc your back. Exhale, shoulders forward, elbows back, shave your ribcage, go for the tap, foot lifts. Inhale, press back up. Exhale, right knee to nose. Make sure those left toes are tucked. Inhale, one-legged plank, lengthen through. You can go for one-legged chaturanga to your upward facing dog on the inhale. Exhale, down dog. Catch your breath. And then please, let's draw your big toes to touch. Inhale, float your right leg off the ground. Come forward, one-legged plank, core engaged. Carefully lower your left knee down to the ground. Bend the right knee, flex the foot. Exhale, right knee to nose, cat spine. Inhale, draw that leg back, bend the knee, flex the foot, shoulders forward, elbows back. Go for the tap. Inhale, come back up. 
Exhale, right knee to nose. Inhale, one-legged plank. Maybe a one-legged chaturanga. Upward facing dog on the inhale. Exhale, down dog. Deep inhale through the nose. Side out. And then on the, your next exhale, take your time, lower that down to a child's pose or sit up on your shins. And come back to your breath. If you're in child's pose, please come up to sit on your shins and let's all come to stand on the shins. Knees again a little wider than the inner hips gives the lower back the sacrum space. By the way, you can totally tuck your toes, no hard rules on this. Follow your breath. Inhale, sweep the left hand to the left heel, right arm circles over the left, go for a half circle. And then sweep that right arm back over the left, pull yourself up to stand. Inhale, right hand, right heel, circle left arm over to the right crown of the head. And then please circle that back to the right, come up to stand, arms reach up. Go for opposite elbows overhead, knit the ribs in, big shoulder opener by the way. Keep the arms overhead as you exhale lightly, step your left foot forward. Go for a bit of a pulse, just to uh, make sure that we're not bracing anywhere, not holding the breath. Next inhale, free your arms up to the sky. Go for Anjaniyasana, core engaged. Uh, exhale, arms sweep forward, down and back. Lengthen through your left leg, reach through the fingertips. Pull the heart forward. Inhale, arms sweep down, forward up, come up. Be light in the back knee by continuing to use your core. Exhale, arms sweep forward, down and back. Draw the hips back, interlace your hands behind you. Inhale, pull the fist back, open up across the chest. Carefully release, arms sweep down, forward up, take that undercurrent with you. And then one more time, exhale, arms sweep forward, down and back. Go for opposite elbows behind you. Inhale, draw the heart forward, kick through the left heel, flex the foot. And inhale, arms sweep forward, up and overhead. Exhale, please go for T twist to your left. Push through the palms, maybe lean back a little bit in space. As you tuck your right toes, all you gotta do is drive through the heel and your knee floats. Super strong lunge. On the inhale, stay low for balance. Let's open up warrior two over your right leg, back of the mat, finding your feet. Next inhale, please flip your right palm, go for reverse warrior, and maybe drive that right shin a little bit further forward. Exhale, take your time, triangle pose, drawing the hips back. As you kind of cascade over the leg, uh, please find that stacking first. It's very hard to kind of go down to the ground, collapse, and then having to work your way up. So stacking shoulders over shoulders, wrists over wrists, and they can always lower that bottom hand a little bit further down to the ground if you want. Moving from your core, your belly, drive through the feet as you soften your right knee side angle. That can be hand on the outside, inside forearm to thigh, yogi's choice. Left arm, you can reach it up overhead or maybe over your ear. Keep drawing your right hip underneath you. Go for one more breath. And carefully, the left hand lowers. Turn the right toes to the left. Find your right foot fold. Inhale, half lift. And then exhale, fold over. Inhale, another half lift. Exhale, hop your feet together. Forward fold, middle of the mat. Inhale, go for half lift, only one pulse. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, come all the way up to stand, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to the heart. Again, try to draw your big toes to touch, heels a little bit apart. Bend your knees, reach your arms up, chair pose. Utkatasana, biceps by the ears for now. Draw the hands to the heart, pop into the balls of your feet. Keep your knees, ankles glued together and then lower onto your heels. As you are, turn to your left. Take your right forearm to the outer left thigh and reach your left hand behind you. 
fiercely, ferociously. Inhale, circle both arms back up overhead, face forward. Exhale, twist that to your left, keep your legs together. That's the whole uh, clue to this. Inhale, both arms sweep forward up overhead, face forward. Exhale, twist that to your left, reach through your fingertips. Inhale, both arms sweep forward up overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take both hands over to your left, tended fingers underneath your shoulders. A hello oblique, so you can feel the twist. And then really try to draw the heart forward and through lengthening through the spine. Next inhale, pivot on the balls of your feet to your left and then find your forward fold wherever you are in the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step that left foot forward front of the mat, frame it with the hands, step your right foot back, runner's lunge. Lower your right knee down, keep it down. Plant your palms down, inhale, seat the left leg back, bend the knee, flex the foot. Exhale, left knee to nose. Inhale, send the left leg back, bend the knee, flex the foot. Go for cow spine. Exhale, shoulders forward, elbows back, go for the tap. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, left knee to nose. Right toes are tucked. Inhale, one-legged plank. Exhale, one-legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Next inhale, draw your left leg up, dog split. Strong in the leg, spread through the toes. Come forward, inhale, one-legged plank. Carefully exhale, lower right knee down to the ground. Bend the left knee, flex the foot. Exhale, left knee to nose. Inhale, left leg back, bend the knee, flex the foot, cow spine. Exhale, shoulders forward, elbows back, go for the tap. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, left knee to nose, those right toes are tucked. Inhale, one-legged plank. Exhale, one-legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. One more time, inhale, float the left leg up. Come forward, please. One-legged plank, core engaged. Lower right knee down in control. Bend the left knee, flex the foot. Exhale, left knee to nose. Inhale, please draw that leg back. Bend the knee, flex the foot. Look forward, shoulders forward, elbows back. Tap. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, left knee to nose. Make sure those right toes are tucked. Inhale, one-legged plank. Exhale, one-legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, palms, palms, palms. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep inhale through the nose. Side out. Go for your breath. And then on the next exhale, please child's pose or sit up on your shin. And just take a moment to connect back to the breath. If you're in child's pose, please come up to sit on your shins. And let's come up to stand on your shins. Again, please some space between the knees. You're more than welcome to tuck your toes or take blocks by the ankles, outer ankles. Inhale, circle right hand to the right heel, left arm overhead. Maybe go for that half circle or take the left hand all the way to the left heel for Ustrasana Camel Pose. Uh, two, come out. Release your left heel, circle the arm back over, whoops, to the right and pull yourself up to stand. Next inhale, left heel hand to the left heel, right arm circles over to the left. Go for the half circle or maybe take the right hand to the right heel. Go for a breath. Release your right heel, circle the right arm over to the left and pull yourself up to stand. Arms reach up overhead, go for opposite elbows, knit the ribs in, lots of core. Lightly step your right foot forward, please. Bit of a pulse. And then find a roughly 90 degree with your right thigh to the ground. Tuck your left toes. 
Give it a try. Just drive so the heel, the knee floats, but your right leg pretty much stays exactly where it is. Very powerful lunge. Next exhale, T-twist to your right, release the arms, go for the push. And again, we try not to overthink for this. Stay low for balance. Inhale, skandhasana over your left leg, back of the mat, hands to heart, maybe tented fingers underneath your shoulders. Uh, try to draw the heart forward and through. And one more breath. Without dumping in that left hip, a little bit of mula bandha, pelvic floor lift. Turn up over your left leg, runner's lunge towards the back of the mat. Draw your left leg back underneath your hips until you're high on the ball of the left foot. Right foot pretty much automatically floats. Look between your thumbs. Option one, just swap out your legs. Right foot down, left foot up. Boom, done. Or maybe go for a one scissor kick switch in the sky. Your right foot is down, left foot is up. Just roll on the same page, left foot is up, right foot is down. Exhale, take a giant step back with your left foot, you're in a runner's lunge. Pivot left heel to the right. Inhale, come up, warrior two, finding your feet. Now you can keep your arms as they are classically in warrior two, or reach your arms behind you, opposite elbows is great. Or maybe go for a reverse prayer behind the back, sliding the pinky fingers between the shoulder blades. Whatever variation you got, inhale, go for a reverse warrior here. Exhale, side angle. You can take that right elbow to the inner right thigh if you are grabbing opposite elbows or reverse prayer. Draw the left shoulder back. Find your breath. Ease in the right toes. Draw the right hip a little bit underneath you. And then as you are, triangle pose, lengthen through your right leg, and all of a sudden you find how much core this is if you don't have your arms to use for support. And keep lengthening, draw that left shoulder back. Next inhale, free your arms, opening up to triangle pose. Exhale, left hand lowers, turn your right toes to the left, yet again a wide forward fold to the left. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, heels in, toes out, bend the knees. Take your hands to your thighs for this bit of a sumo squat. You can rock your weight side to side. The thumbs are on the inside of your thighs. Exhale, twist to your right, press your left thigh away from you. Inhale, come up through center. Exhale, twist to your left, press your right thigh away from you. Inhale, up through center. Exhale, heels out, wide forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hop your feet together. Forward fold, middle of the mat. Inhale, go for half lift. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to the heart. I'm gonna scoot a bit over so I don't crash into my uh, table here. <laughs> Inhale, bend the knees, reach the arms up, chair pose. Arms stay by the ears as you pop into the balls of your feet. On the inhale, sweep your arms forward, down and back, go for diver's pose. Legs stay together, pull the heart forward, reach the fingers back, high, high on the tippy toes. On the next inhale, go for a bit of momentum, sweep the arms down, forward up, bend the knees, hands to heart, back to your toe tuck stand, hands to heart. Then take your hands over to your right, you can stay on tented fingers, maybe palms underneath the shoulders. So keep your legs glued together. You're in quite the twist. You can go for two upper arms. That's a deeper twist. One upper arm will require more strength. Don't look down, look forward. Maybe going for your side crow, Parjva Bakasana. You can always scissor out the legs. Going for your Kundanyasana one. And then take your time, draw the legs back together. Toe tuck stand, hands to the heart. Inhale, turn over to your left, hands are on the ground, pivot on the balls of your feet to the left, find a forward fold, middle of the mat. Inhale, go for half lift. Exhale, step your left foot forward this time, hands underneath the shoulders, maybe tended fingers or blocks. Float your right leg up for a standing split, halfway through, turn the right toes, kneecap down. You can stay where you are or counter twist. Reach your left arm up for a revolved half moon pose. 
You can look down onto the horizon or up. Now fiercer reach through the top fingertips. That right heel, kick through it, lift it. Hello, belly of the right hamstrings. Go for one more breath. And then on the exhale, left hand lowers. Right foot joins the left, find forward fold, Uttanasana, front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold over, double tap. Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach your arms up, Urdhva Hastasana, get long. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, halfway lift, got a couple of options for you. You can step back, hop back, float back. If you enjoyed that scissor kick switch, maybe you wanna go for a one-legged hop back to a one-legged chaturanga. As you come onto the ball of your left foot, right foot floats. Now you wanna kick up, bring the shoulders forward so you can take that one-legged hop back. Upward facing dog, was a little up too loud for my liking. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's see if we can do that again. You can stay in down dog, let me try again. As I come up, a little better. Upward facing dog, down dog. Deep inhale through the nose, side out. And then on the next exhale, please go for your child's pose or sit up on your shins. And come back to your breath. All right, if you're in child's pose, please come up to sit on your shins, Vadrasana, and then come up to stand on your shins. Last time, make that space between the knees, give your low back space, a fluid movement, uh, go with what feels good. And that's mainly guided by your breath. I think it's all the way guided by your breath. Inhale, left hand to the left heel, right arm circles over to the left, go for the half circle, maybe go for the full circle, finding your Vastrasana. Then release the right heel, circle the right arm over to the left, pull yourself up to stand. Inhale, right hand, right heel, circle left arm over to the crown of the head, maybe go for that full circle, take a moment in your camel. Then release the left heel, circle the arm over to the right and pull yourself up to stand. Arms reach up overhead. Go for opposite elbows, knit the ribs in, we find that strong core. Lightly step your left foot forward, maybe a bit of a pulse. Then find that 90 degree with the ground. Tuck your right toes, just drive through the heel and knee float. Find that super strong lunge here. On the exhale, T-twist to your left, push through the palms, and staying low for your balance. Let's inhale, open up Skandasana over your right leg. Back of the mat, hands to the heart, maybe kick stands. Draw the heart forward and through, and just try not to collapse too much in the left, sorry, the big toe side of your right foot. On the inhale, up over your right leg, runner lunge back of the mat. Slide your right foot underneath your hips. As you come onto the ball of the right foot, left foot floats. Uh, this is the only time I'll kind of cue you to draw the shoulders to the ears, giving you that stability. Now you can just swap out your legs, right? Left foot down, right foot up, boom, you're done. Or perhaps if you want to, tr try to go for that scissor kick switch. Left foot down or right foot up. As you are, or left foot down, right foot up. Exhale, giant step back with your right foot. Your inner runner's lunge, pivot right heel into the left. Inhale, come up, warrior two, finding your feet. Again, you can keep your arms as they are, or go for opposite elbows behind you, or take that reverse prayer behind the back. Well, I'm gonna make sure my microphone stays on. <laughs> kind of important. As you are, inhale, go for reverse warrior. And then exhale, go for side angle. You can take that left elbow, inner left thigh. If you are binding behind the back, opposite elbows or reverse prayer. Now, it's kind of like a beautiful counter uh, as you can find the stacking here, especially if you take the sh uh, elbow to the inner left thigh. As you are, inhale, triangle pose. Uh, hello, uh, hemis. 
Soft face, find that tripod of your left foot. And then on the inhale, let's open up the arms. Triangle pose. Draw the tail to your trailing heel. On the exhale, right hand lowers, turn the left toes to the right, wide forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Heels in, toes out, bend the knees, hands can go to the inner thighs. Go for a bit of a sumo squat, rock side to side. On the inhale, sorry, take a deep inhale. We want to exhale and twist to the left, press your right thigh away from you. Inhale, come up through center. Exhale, twist to your right, press your left thigh away from you. Inhale, up through center. Exhale, hands down, heels out, wide forward fold. Inhale, half lift, hands underneath your shoulders. Exhale, hop your feet together, forward fold, middle of the mat. Inhale, go for half lift. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana, up hands pose. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, make sure big toes are touching. Bend the knees, reach the arms up, chair pose. Biceps stay, stay by the ears as you pop into the balls of your feet. Kind of makes me feel like Michael Jackson. On the inhale, reach your arms forward, down and back. Go for diver's pose. You want to draw the heart forward, lengthen through the legs. Fiercely reach through your fingers. High, high up on the tippy toes. Go for a bit of momentum. Inhale, arms sweep down, up, bend the knees, hands to heart. Toe tuck stand, hands to the heart. Then take your hands over to your left. That can be tented fingers underneath your shoulders. Maybe plant the palms down. Uh, I like to go for two upper arms. Look forward. Maybe take that to your Parjra Bakasana, your side crow, rocking the weight into the fingertips. You can scissor out your legs, Kundanyasana one. Keep lengthening through your spine, weight into the fingertips. Exhale, draw your legs back together for your toe tuck stand, hands to the heart. Then please take the hands over to your right. As you pivot on the balls of your feet to the right, finding your forward fold anywhere in the middle of the mat. Half lift on the inhale. Exhale, step your right foot forward, hands underneath the shoulders, tended fingers blocks, float the left leg up. Find that standing split. This is where you can definitely square off the hips by turning the toes, kneecap down. And left hand can stay underneath your shoulder, right arm reaches up, Parvita Ardha Tandrasana. Maybe look down onto the horizon or up, counter twist. Breathe, radiate in all directions. And keep kicking, keep reaching, keep breathing please, especially exhaling. And on the exhale that follows, take the right hand down, left foot joins the right. Find your forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, go for half lift, re-lengthen. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms reach up, full breath in. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, half lift. Our options, step back, hop back, float back. If you want to go for that one-legged hop, pop onto the ball of your right foot, left foot floats. Again, I wanna look forward, kick up, shoulders come forward, then hop back. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. I mean, I did it twice on the first side. I should probably do it twice here as well. Makes for good practice, right? We repeat. Upward facing dog to down dog. All right, deep inhale through the nose, side out. Take a brief child's pose or sit up by your shins. All right. I'm gonna build briefly a little bit of uh, heat. Inhale, all fours, please. Exhale, downward facing dog. Next inhale, draw your right leg up to the sky, go for dog split. Exhale, step the foot forward and through. Left foot is smidge to the left heel lowers. Inhale, come up, warrior one, finding your feet. Outer blade of that back foot, fiercely, please drive it down. Take your right wrist in front of your left, cross them, 
Then face your palms towards one another, interlace the fingers. As you inhale, pop onto the ball of your left foot, sink a little bit deeper into the lunge. As we go for what I call some muscle momentum, exhale, come up into a one-legged Tadasana, draw the left knee up into the chest. Figure four, left ankle, right thigh. As you bend your right knee, booty goes back, bring that fist forward in front of you, flex the left foot. Then draw the fist down, in and up, pulling your elbows apart for the wrist stretch. If you want to, you can lengthen through the arms, huge uh, wrist opener, be mindful. On the inhale, uncoil the arms, reach them back up overhead and come up. Unhook the foot, giant step back, warrior one, finding your feet. Carefully release your bind, hands come down, pop on the ball of the left foot. As you draw your right leg back, start to lower down into Chaturanga. Once the foot hits, you're there. Coming up to Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Down Dog. Draw your big toes to touch. Inhale, left leg floats. Exhale, step the foot through between your hands. Right foot is smidge to the right, heel lowers. Inhale, come up, Warrior One, finding your feet. Also, when you drive that outer blade of the back foot down, it gives you this space in the lower back for the tailbone to drop. No compression in the low back. Take left wrist in front of right. Give yourself uh, a handshake, interlacing your fingers. Pop onto the ball of your right foot. Sink a little lower. Exhale, push off. One-legged Tadasana. Right knee draws in. Go for a right ankle, left thigh. Bend the left knee, booty goes back, bring your fist forward in front. Flex that right foot, then draw the fist down, in and up, pull the elbows apart. Maybe lengthen through the arms. Next inhale, uncoil, arms reach up, come up to stand, unhook the foot, giant step back, warrior one, finding your feet. And mindfully release that bind, hands come down, pop on the ball of your right foot. Inhale, as you draw the left leg back, start to lower down, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Next inhale, draw the big toes to touch, float your right leg off the ground. Exhale, step the foot forward. Left foot a bit to the left, find your feet. Inhale, warrior one. Options. You can reach your arms behind you, opposite elbows. Or bend your right elbow overhead. You can gently work it down with the left hand. You can circle your left arm down and around. Maybe go for gomu cast in a bind. You can use a hand towel for this. Pop on the ball of your left foot. Take your time. Exhale, one-legged Tadasana. Figure four, left ankle, right thigh, booty back. Think cow spine. You can stay up. Or exhale, start to fold over. Huge pull on the left shoulder, please be mindful. On the inhale, please come back up. Unhook the ankle, giant step back. Warrior one with whatever you have behind your back. Uh, carefully releasing binds, hands come down, frame the foot. Pop on the ball of the left foot as you slide that right leg back to Chaturanga. Upward facing dog on the inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg float. Exhale, step the foot through. Right foot is smidge to the right. Inhale, come up, warrior one. Feet, breath. We catch our breath by fully breathing in and fully breathing out. Again, opposite elbows, beautiful, behind the back. Maybe go for Komukasana, left arm up, right elbow below. Take your time. Pop onto the ball of your right foot. Exhale. One-legged Tadasana. Come up. Figure four. Right ankle, left thigh. Booty back. Uh, stay up. Keep pulling the heart forward. Maybe fold over. Take your time. Keep lengthening through the spine. Inhale. Come up. Unhook. Giant step back. Warrior one. Finding feet. Release whatever you have behind your back. Hands come down. Pop on the ball of the right foot. Chaturanga as you start to draw the leg back. Upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep inhale through the nose. 
side out. Please draw your big toes to touch. Inhale, right leg float. Exhale, step it through. Left foot a bit to the left. Inhale, we come up. Warrior one. This time, take a right arm over left. You can give yourself a hug, half, or full ego wrap. Sorry about that microphone. <laughs> and then as you are, pivot on the ball of your left foot. Please come up. One-legged Tadasana. This time, however, on the exhale, wrap left leg over right, eagle wrap, bending both knees, booty back. Avoid the double wrap as in a moment uh, we're gonna have to undo. Twist to your left, take both elbows to the outer left thigh. Keep lengthening through your spine. Keep pulling the heart forward and through. And then carefully unhook the left leg from right, step your feet together and you're in this eagle twisted chair. Look down, steady point of focus. On the inhale, step or slide your right foot way back into a twisted eagle lunge. Here too, it's easy to kind of compress, right? Keep lengthening through your spine. Fiercely drive through the right heel. Maybe even try to look back a bit. Go for one more. As you carefully Uncoil the arms, let the hands come down. Lower the right knee down, untuck your toes. Please go for Ardha Hanumanasana half split. Next inhale, rebend the left knee. Heel toe the foot over to your left hands on the inside, please. Maybe scoot your right knee back a bit so you can pull the heart forward through length and front body. Inhale, left arm sweeps forward, up and back, might be plenty. If you want the tail grab, go for it, pinky toe edge of the foot. Get you nicely across the rotator cuff deltoids pecs. And maybe come onto your right forearm if you want, and then turn your uh, whole entire heart open to the ceiling. Get you uh, this fantastic stretch from the collarbones to the top of the back knee. Go for one more, relax your face. Carefully release the foot if you have it. Coming on to palms, so many options, goodness. Maybe stay on palms, maybe come on forearms, forearms on blocks. If you want to, perhaps coming back to forearms, tuck the right toes, drive to the heel, the knee floats. You can take that left shoulder underneath the left knee and then again lengthen through the spine. Option to go for airplane wings, arms beside you, maybe go for peace fingers or wrist bind. Straighten through the arms, keep getting long. Go for one more breath. If you are binding, carefully release, hands come down. If your back knee is down, tuck the toes, float the knee off the ground. Inhale, go for left dog split. Bend the knee, open hip, plenty. Maybe a rock star over to your right to give you that beautiful hip flexor uh, love for a moment. Inhale, pivot on the ball of your right foot, go for left dog split. Options, you can tap the left knee to the left tricep or perhaps come forward into Kundanyasana two as you rock your weight forward, finding your flying split. Keep lengthening through the spine. Inhale, left dog split. Keep that left leg up, please. Exhale, walk your hands back to your right foot. Exhaling, exhaling, exhaling. Check out your left foot in the sky. Face the toes and kneecap down. And then look down, single point of focus. Maybe take one, maybe take both hands to the right ankle. Now this balance comes from your hip. Tripod of the right foot, big toe mount, pinky toe mount, and the heel. And then try to balance all the way up to the hip, not just the ankle or the knee. Uh, carefully, hands come down. Uh, left foot joins the right. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, come all the way up. Urdhvastasana. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, draw the left knee up into the chest. Eagle wrap, left leg over right, bending the right knee, arms to the side, go right arm over left, hug half or full. Again, long spine as you fold over for a sleeping eagle. 
kind of funny because last thing I'm doing here is sleeping, but that's fine. A long, long spine, uncoil the arms, hands come down, walk it forward until you can carefully lower your knees down to the ground. Komukasana legs, make adjustments if you need to. Press into the shins, tops of the feet. Inhale, come up to stand. Hello, internal hip rotation. Exhale, lightly drop your booty between your heels. You can always set yourself up for a seated twist, right? Just stepping one foot over the other or walk your feet apart. If you can, if you want to, bend the right elbow. You can take the left hand on the right elbow, gently work the hand down. Maybe go for your full gomukhasana bind as you uh, interlace peace fingers, three over three, four over four, or go for hand towel. You can stay up or maybe exhale, fold over. If you're forward folding, inhale, come up. And mindfully release uh, your arms down. As you come over your shins, take your time to come onto your forearms, grab opposite elbows just to make sure they're underneath your shoulders. Interlacing your fingers, stacking uh, your fingers, but please take pinky fingers in front of one another. As you take the crown of your head onto the ground, Cup the back of your skull with the palms of the hands, thumbs on the back of the skull. Might be enough, or draw your calves to touch, tuck the toes, walk the feet in cross legs, and maybe take that into your shirshasana, a eagle wrap the legs, maybe even go for the double wrap. Breath, breath, breath. Keep drawing the hips back. And then take another beat. If you're double wrapping, just undo the double wrap and then slowly draw yourself down to the ground. A lot of core. <laughs> and take your time with cross legs. Now let's come into our cross-legged tabletop. Draw your calves to touch, tuck the toes, cross-legged down dog. Maybe work the pinky toes to touch. Inhale, come forward, cross-legged plank. Maybe cross-legged chaturanga when you're halfway down. Unhook, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep inhale through the nose. Side out. And then go for child's pose or sit up on your shins. Take a moment while I put my hair back together. <laughs> also, let me adjust the music. Final lap to go. Uh, stay with your breath. Have fun with all of this. Let me switch sides. All right. Next, inhale. Let's please come to all fours, hands and knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, draw your big toes, touch, float your left leg off the ground. Exhale, step the foot forward and through. Right foot is smidge to the right, heel lowers. Inhale, come up, warrior one. Exhale, left arm over right, hug half or full. Pop onto the ball of your right foot. Huge inhale. Exhale, one legged Tadasana, draw the right knee and up. Eagle wrap, right leg over left, bending the left knee. Find your eagle wrap here, Garudasana. Twist to your right, take both elbows to the outer right thigh. You can even do this with hugging, right? Keep that spine long. As you carefully uncross right leg from the left, step your feet together. You're in that um, eagle, Garudasana arms, twisted chair. Look down, steady gaze. Inhale, step or slide your left foot way back for that twisted lunge. I always have to scoot a little bit further back. So you can really drive through that left heel. You feel the leg lengthen, and that lengthening, that engaging through the leg 
kind of from me moves all the way up through the spine and that whole lengthening from crown of the head to the back heel keeps me up. And next inhale, float the hands down in control, lower the left knee down, on top the toes, go for Ardha Hanumanasana, inhale, lengthening. Exhale, maybe fold over. Inhale, rebend the right knee, heel toe that foot over to your right, hands on the inside of the foot. Lengthen the chest forward, inhale, reach the right arm forward, up and back. Maybe go for your tail grab if you want to. You can always come onto your forearm and just turn your heart open to the ceiling. Go for a breath. And then let that tail go if you have it, coming back to palms. Please take the lizard variation you took on the first side, so palms or on forearms. Uh, maybe you wanna tuck the back toes and drive the heel, let the knee lift. Slide the right shoulder underneath the right knee. Keep getting that length, even look forward. You can go for the airplane wings, 45 degree behind you, or maybe go for the bind. Go for one more breath. And then carefully let the bind go if you have it. Hands underneath your shoulders. If the back knee is down, tuck the toes, let the knee float. Inhale, go for right dog split. Might be enough, bending the knee, beautiful open hip, maybe rock star over to your left. You can roll it all the way open as far as you want. Inhale, pivot on the ball of your left foot, go for right dog split. Again, you can stay here for breath, maybe tap right knee to the right elbow, upper arm, maybe come forward for your Kundanyasana two as you lengthen everything forward. Look forward, inhale, right dog split. Keep that leg up. Exhale, walk your hands back to your left foot, back of the mat, exhaling, 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 head drops. Take a moment, right toes, kneecap face down, look down. You can take a one, maybe two hands to the left ankle. Keep your gaze steady, breath steady. And that top leg is holding you up. Keep it engaged. Uh, go for one more breath. Hip, 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 hip. And then carefully the hands come down. Uh, left foot joins, sorry, right foot joins the left. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, go for half lift. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to the heart. Let's wrap this up, quite literally. <laughs> On the inhale, draw the right knee up. Eagle wrap, right leg over left, arms out to the side. Left arm over right, give yourself a hug, half or full. Bowing over your right thigh, keep it lengthening through your spine, heart pulls forward. Then carefully, just uncoil the arms, walk them forward until you can carefully lower your knees down in Gomukhasana legs, so feet nice and wide. Make sure you are comfortable enough to come up to stand on your shins, tops of the feet. Exhale, carefully lower your booty between your heels. Now again, you can take our Matsyandrasana, see to twist set up, or just walk it out a bit. Maybe bend the left elbow hand into the nape of the neck. You can always reach your right arm behind, maybe going for gomukhas and a bind. I try to knit the ribs in, but then you want to face a left elbow up, right elbow down to the ground. Stay up or exhale, fold over. Huge pull on the right shoulder. So please be careful there. Go for two breaths. Inhale, come up if you're forward folding. Carefully release your binds. Come over your shins. As you take your time, come onto your forearms, maybe opposite elbows, just to set yourself up for success. My personal preference is pinky fingers in front of one another. Crown of the head is pretty far down in the top of your head. 
Maybe just take your rabbit variation right the back of the head into the little cradle of your palms. Otherwise, you can draw the calves to touch, walk the feet in, and maybe that's enough, or slowly start to come up, whoops, into your Shurshasana A. Breath, breath, breath. And with eagle wrap, maybe go for the double wrap. Steady gaze, navel in and up. Go for one more. And then if you're eagle wrapping double legs, just undo the double and then slowly come down. I find that very challenging, a lot of core. And take your time to come back up to cross-legged tabletop. Draw your calves to touch, tuck the toes, cross-legged down dog. Pinky toes to touch, inhale, come forward, cross-legged plank. Feel free to go for cross-legged chaturanga, unhook. Upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep inhale through the nose. Side out. Go for one more breath. Then please lower down onto your shins and come up to stand on your shins. So we've done it a couple of times. We can go for a bit more, again, a bit of a fluid camel pose. Inhale, you can keep your toes tucked or feel free to take uh, blocks. Circle right hand, right heel, left arm overhead, finding the left heel. Take a breath in your Ustrasana camel. And then we're gonna come out by releasing the right heel, circle right arm over to the left and pull yourself up to stand. Switching sides, inhale, left hand, left heel, right arm circles overhead. Going for Ustrasana. And then release the left heel, arm circles over to the right, pull yourself up to stand. Uh, draw your knees together. This might not be for everybody, so uh, bear with me. I literally have to remove the fleshy part from my calves to the side, and then I uh, can sit between my heels for Virasana. Uh, if you're not down with that, just sit on your shins for a moment, I'll be right with you. If you like Virasana, maybe attempt Supta Virasana, where you walk your hands back. Maybe you come onto your forearms. Maybe come to lie on your back. And then you can optionally grab the upper arms, elbows, overhead. You wanna to try to keep your knees together. Maybe separating them a little bit can feel better in the low back, but try to keep your knees together. I know some yogis can just fall asleep here, so feel free to stay here a little longer. For my other friends, you can come out, take your time. And let's fish to your legs out to one side and come to lie on your back. Maybe go for a bit of a windshield wiper, a rock side to side. And you can move in towards Supta Baddha Konasana, soles the feet together, knees wide. Maybe allow your eyes to close or a soft gaze. Now you're more than welcome to take anything else that would make you happy to complete your practice. Of course, you can lengthen out through the legs, move in and towards your Shavasana. So every time I explore a bit of back bending, I can feel a bit scared because it can feel vulnerable. And then every single time when I practice back bending, I remind myself that in order to safely explore back bends, we have to tap into our core. We need both. In the yogi tradition, they call this uh, stira, strength, and the sukha, the ease. Strength without ease is just force, 
and that's how we break things. There's so much strength and ease and there is so much ease in real strength. No force about it. So here in this particular shape of Shavasana, we invite ease not just into one area of the body, but into every cell and fiber and being of the body. So that we can find in every cell and fiber and being of our body, strength later on. And because it, it's not something that we can fake ease in the body, and because it's sought after into every cell and fiber and being of the body, this is considered the most advanced shape of them all. So soften the back of the body into the ground, the space between your eyebrows, the jaw. Now you're more than welcome to stay on your back, of course. If you wish to come up into a seat, take a deep inhale through the nose. And side out. You can gently draw one knee at a time into your chest and roll onto your right side, coming up to sit. Otherwise, if you want to stay in your back for a little longer, maybe just take one hand to the heart. Otherwise, if you're seated, draw both hands to the heart, please. Fingertips touching, palms apart. And gently bow your head to your own inner teacher. Truly, I really, uh, I really mean that. Thank you for honoring it in your practice with me. I'd love for you to join me in the beautiful sound of Om. Otherwise, just enjoy those sound vibrations. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Side out. Inhale to Om if you wish. Om. Shivaya Gurave Satchitananda Motaye Nishprapanchaya Shantaya Nialambaya Tejase Om Shanti 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 I follow the light, the true teacher within and without. Bring me to reality, consciousness, and bliss. Own peace, 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 in a nutshell. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Uh, again, I love hearing from you, so feel free to leave any comments. And I'll be back next week. Thank you for your support. And um, whenever you're practicing, have a beautiful day, evening, weekend, and week. Thank you so much.